How's it going guys? Welcome to the NASCAR Thunder 2000 career. If you uh, if you've missed anything, uh, this is going to replace what we were just doing, which was NASCAR Thunder 2003. We done that before on the channel. I was giving it a second go, then this comes out. So this is going to replace the NASCAR Thunder 2003 career. It's going to be the NASCAR Thunder 2000 career. The majority of you agreed that, that you wanted to see this instead of NASCAR Thunder 2003. And I also want to give a shout out to uh, to, to Ty Thunder, to Isaac. You guys mentioned me on Twitter, both of you guys. Isaac, I'm pretty sure I, I just let you know, I'm pretty sure I, I did the database correctly. I definitely like, did what I had to do and I did that correctly. So I don't know why, you know, it was messing up, but... Um, I was able we, so we essentially guys we have all of the mod unlocked. This is a 100% save mod Thank you to Ty Thunder for sharing this So uh, thank you uh, if you guys want want it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll retweet it on Twitter So go to my Twitter go uh, you'll see the retweet there, but we have a 100% save Everything here should be good to go. We have all the 2000 drivers now We're gonna have to the one thing we're gonna have to do is that I did have to re I'm gonna have to restart the career because this is on a different memory card in order to get all the paint schemes and everything like that um, so we're gonna be able to do the career now what's cool about the career is that there are going to be different uh, sponsorships as well that we are gonna maybe obtain so we're not gonna get the same sponsors I think every single time is going to be a little bit different which is going to be nice we're gonna keep everything as it was legend difficulty with 25% uh, with uh, damage on and yellow flags on all that is the same now I do want to say guys if there's any way you guys maybe uh, modders or something is there a way you guys could mod the legend difficulty because I would like to, if you guys don't know this, in Legend Difficulty, if you go to the settings, uh, where is it? I didn't know this either, by the way. Uh, AI. So, this is custom settings. If you go to Legend, that is what Legend Difficulty is. So, it, it puts the rec frequency all the way to the bottom and mistakes all the way to the bottom. And what we want is to put that kind of in the middle. We want rec frequency to be there and mistakes to be there instead of being there and there. But that's just the normal legend difficulty. So if the, if the modders, if any of you guys could help me with that, please comment down below. Reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. DM me. Um, Patreon members, DM me in the Discord. If anyone can figure out a way to mod the legend difficulty to put this rec frequency up here and mistakes up here, I'd really appreciate that because I can't do that in the, uh, in the career. The career has to be legend and I can't make it like, you know, I can't change it. Like I, I cannot do anything. I can't up to uh, change the sliders at all so if you guys can help me with that i would really really appreciate that now i'm gonna quickly run through this i'm gonna try to make it as similar to what we had before i'm not gonna really waste too much time here i'll, I'll see you guys when we are signing the sponsors and the team all right we gotta sign the sponsors uh oh there is the same i thought we'd have different sponsors but for now uh they look similar all right windcraft uh delphi and kmart we're going to go ahead and go Let's see. I can't finish in 35th every single time. Honestly, that's kind of asking too much. Average finish in 35th, guys? You think that? I'm, I'm thinking we're going to put Kmart in the car. Kmart, come along. We got the Kmart uh, race car. Uh, qualifying average start in 35th. We can do that. Kmart, come on along, my friends. That actually fits perfectly into the car. I'm going to have to change the red. We're going to have to change that. Uh, let's see. Finish out of Robbie Gordon, rank 35th. Finish ahead of Mike Skinner. Kmart, you're coming. This is going to be the Kmart card. Good lord. Uh, team, participate in the race to get paid. We're going to go with Windcraft. And then we got the driver. It is going to be. Uh, we're going to go with Craftsman. Let's go ahead and put that on there. So now we need to. Uh, I need a, I'm going to have to change the paint scheme because this is, this is going to work. There's too much Kmart on there. Too much red. We're going to have to change this a little bit. Now, this is important, guys. We've got to redo all the. Woo! That's a good way to start. That is a good way to start. 97 potential with uh, the highest overall. Come on along. Front tire carrier. 70, oh, well, those guys all suck, so we got to do that. Rear tire changer, 55, 97, beautiful scenes. Uh, here we go, 83 potential versus 68. We're going to go with 83 potential. Uh, gas man, what we got here, 93 potential, 57 overall. Yes, we got this has actually been pretty good so far. Uh, Jackman, 83, 85, 97. Uh, we're gonna go with the 83 potential guy for now, Toen Nagy. We're gonna go with him. Uh, Cash Can Man, 58 overall, 79 potential. We're gonna accept that. Crew Chief. Now this is where we got screwed over last time, guys. The Crew Chief, the fabricators, the you know engineers, all this stuff. This is where we got screwed over. Um, crew Chief is not off to a good start. So 55 overall, overall with 72 potential, not great. 52 overall with 87 potential. Uh, yeah, this is not great at all. Um, we're going to have to go with Feeney for now. We're going to probably fire him. No offense, Byron, but you're getting fired uh, later in the season. 
Engine builder, please give me someone good. 56 overall with 73 potential. Power is low on all of them. Uh, it is not making it easy for me, guys. It is not making it easy. Um, okay, this is a little bit better. Uh, we got 91 potential in Bruce Nagy. 57 tire grip, 52 tire wear. I guess we're going to have to do that. 23 years old. We're going to have to go ahead with him. And the fabricator, it is 50... Jesus. Oh, my God. 55, 62, and 55 potential. The fabricators are getting annihilated after this. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to go with Dowdy. Sign him because that is all we can do. All right, let's go ahead and change the paint scheme a little bit. We're going to have to make that work with the... Uh, with the sponsorship. Alright, we have made something. So the stripe scheme doesn't work. Like, it just does The Kmart logo is too big. So we're going to go back to angles, which is a classic paint scheme of ours. And it works. And we're going to go with a gray, uh, you know, like a gray base, like a silverish base. Uh, we can change that on a race-by-race -race basis. But that is the race car. It looks, uh, it looks alright. Alright, uh, it's not the best. If anyone can make me a custom paint scheme, I'd really appreciate it, to be honest. Um, and let's get going, guys. Okay, so, well, obviously, the drivers are going to be different, guys. We're going to have to learn this. Scott Pruitt is in the 32, not Ricky Craven. Robert Presley's in the 77. Kyle Petty's in the 44. Steve Park is in the 1. And this doesn't show everybody, by the way. Uh, Joe Nemechek's in the 33. Jerry Nadeau's in the 25. Jerry Mayfield is in the 12. We have Rick Mass in the 14. Mark Martin is in the 6. Sterling Marlin in the 40. Chad Little. Kevin LePage is in the 16. Labonte's in the 5. So some of these guys are the same. Obviously, Bobby Labonte. Matt Kenseth, a very young Matt Kenseth is in the 17, Dale Jarrett, 88, Bobby Hamilton is in the 4, Jeff Gordon, obviously we know that, Bill Elliott is in the 94, Junior is still there in the 8, we got good old Earnhardt, so Dale Earnhardt, we are racing against him, we're going to see how this goes, will we end up getting a rivalry with him, Wally Dollenbach Jr. in the 75, one of my favorites right there, Stacey Compton is in the 9, Ward Burton in the 22, Jeff Burton in the 99, Jeff Bodine in the 60, Brett Bodine in the 11, so we got both Bodines, 60 and 11 is Jeff and Brett, I'm going to mess that up over and over, and by the way guys, I'm not going to be able to memorize all these. It's going to take me a long time to get used to all this. Mike Bliss in the 27. Dave Blaney is in the 93. Uh, Johnny Benson still in the 10. John Andretti in the 43. And there will be more that go on throughout the season. Like here, you got Ricky Rudd, Elliot Sadler here, Ken Schrader, Mike Skinner in the 31. Jimmy Spencer in the 26. Tony Stewart, Kenny Wallace, Rusty Wallace in the 2. Daryl Waltrip is in the 66. Michael Waltrip is in the 7. There's a lot more guys uh, as we will go on through the field so it should be a lot of fun let's go to daytona you guys know the deal let's go to daytona baby and i'm sorry that your shout out is very late i want to give a shout out to all the patreon members as always just for the channel make sure you guys support as always you guys are the best thing you guys as always so much my birthday was yesterday so thank you guys for the birthday wishes as well uh and hopefully you guys are having a great week let's do this we we finished uh what top 10 in the last one in the first so we need to get like around 10th that's what we're aiming for uh set up we're gonna bump those tire pressures up all the way there's not much else i can do to be honest so uh we'll go from there i, I can definitely change the presets we're gonna do that all right good qualifying lap as long as it's like you know decent 21st we take that that is going to help remember we have average start uh, of 20 or it was average or was it qualify 35th i don't remember but off to the Gatorade 125s we go. This is important, guys. We have, uh, it looks like Earnhardt, Skinner, Gordon. They're all in there. So, Skinner, Earnhardt. Let me just get. We got Kyle Petty in the 44, Steve Park, Labonte, Kenseth, Martin, Burton, Chad Little, Scott Pruitt, me, uh, Bobby Hamilton in the four. Uh, I, got, I got all that. Is this when we get. For, what? Oh, I thought the game crashed for a second. Gordon's behind us. That's someone we want to work with, guys. Uh, now we're gonna have to learn uh, who is like super fast and who isn't. So that is a not a good. Side. I have to go. I have to change the preset. Oh my lord! I only changed fourth gear. That was horrible. Whoa! Just a horrible start. I mean, I I only changed fourth gear, so I need I need to change the preset eight. That's that's not a good start. That's gonna really hurt us. We uh, uh that's not good. Okay, we we got we gotta go, guys. We gotta go. This is really important to get a good a good start for the 500 because track position means so much since we need to work with people. And it looks like I don't remember where we finished in the first in the duel, you know, not too long ago, a few weeks ago. But it doesn't look like it's going to be something similar because I'm pretty sure I was in the top 10 uh, in the duel, and that's not going to be the case. I think it was like eighth or ninth where we finished. Right now we are 11th, trying to hold on as much as possible to the back end of Bill Elliott. 
and just hopefully he can pull us along and get, we, maybe we go finish in the top 10. That's that's the hope as we finish in the top 10 in this duel. Can we catch those four cars up there? Probably not. Can we catch one of them? I do think so. I just need a little bit of help to get to the back bumper of Bill Elliott and we are going to get him. Whew, okay, very important right there. Very important to get to the back bumper of Elliott. So now we hopefully run the bottom. There we go. Keep getting pushes from Rick Mace behind. So this is this is a good start here, guys. Good start, good start. All right, we're, we've recovered. Kyle Petty is slowing up, so he obviously doesn't have a lot of speed. We take a look at it. Mark Mar or Mike Skinner, Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt, Steve Park, Matt Kenseth are the top five. And Kenseth is falling back, so there's only a four-car breakaway. We continue to follow Bill Elliott. We just need to follow him the whole time and then, uh, you know, maybe pass him towards the end, but probably not. Now, this is good. We're using Elliott to catch Bobby Labonte and Chad Little. Not Bobby. Terry Labonte. I'm going to get that mixed up a lot. Sorry. Uh, Terry Labonte and Chad Little. We're going to just keep following uh, Mr. Elliott. We're not going to leave him. Stay right here. Hopefully, we still have six laps, so hopefully he's able to lead us through. Oh, I got to follow him. I got to follow him. Come on, come on. Oh, thank God. Woo, okay. Thank God. All right, come on. I need I need some help from behind. We had Rick Mace the whole time helping from behind. Don't slide up. Don't slide up. Don't slide up. Don't slide up. Uh, this is not a good sign. Okay. Uh, we just got to hold on here. Hold on. Just follow Little. Just follow him. It's fine. It's okay. Maybe this is good. Maybe we'll actually hold Bill Elliott back a little bit. This is fine. Stay right here. All right, we're good. We're good. Now, I don't think we're catching Kenseth, and, and eighth is good here. So, I think... I kind of want to block Bill Elliott, stay behind Little, because Little is definitely slower than Elliott. That's that's pretty clear. He's, he's definitely slower. Now, the question is, can we catch Kenseth? If I let Bill Elliott go, can we catch Kenseth? Because that, that might be something. Oh, blown, blown engine. Blown engine, free spot. Free spot right here. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. It's going to be P7. And now Kenseth is all on his own. Can Little get us up there? With the help of Bill Elliott pushing, Little is definitely slower. It's just uh, I don't I don't want to let Bill, I don't want Bill to pull away. That's the one thing. So I think we're gonna stay like this. We got what four laps to go. We're gonna stay like this. Hopefully we catch Kenseth. This is another blown engine. This is a different blown engine. That is Mark Martin. Two blown engines in the duels, guys. Two blown engines in the duels. This is different. Oh wow, that's something I was not expecting there. Okay, we are in line, maybe, maybe, for a top 10 starting position. Because we might be able to finish fourth here. It's possible. Oh my god. Here we go, ladies and gents. This is going to put us in the top five. Hopefully Bill Elliott follows through. Because I need some help. Uh, we need help behind. So if Kenseth or Elliott wants to come down, it's going to be Elliott. Come on, keep following. There we go. This is perfect. I need to get a run here, so I'm actually trying to back off just a little bit to get the run. Because we're going to try and pass Chad Little. There we go. We pull out. I need to get to that quarter panel. Get him loose. Get him loose. Get him loose. Nope. Maybe get some help from Kenseth. Will the help work? Come on. Get to the quarter panel. There we go. There we go. Got him. I got him. I got him. That was crucial right there. Oh, my God. I, what looked like we were literally running 17th at that point is going to be 4th. That is fourth in the duels. That is either a 10th place, a 9th place, or a 7th or 8th place, depending on where uh, I think Earnhardt did. I, thi I think it's 10th. I, I don't even know, honestly. I have no 10th or 9th. That's, that's amazing. Holy crap. The 2000 Daytona 500, and we are starting in 7th. Right next to good old Michael Waltrip, Skinner and Dale Jarrett, Earnhardt and Jeremy Mayfield, Park and Elliot Sadler in the 21, us, Waltrip, uh, then we got Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson in the 10, Chad Little, Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Ken Schrader, and then the rest of the field. And I didn't change the gear ratio. I did not, guys, I didn't change the gear. We're, we're dropping back. We're dropping back. Damn it. That's a massive mistake. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I'm dropping right to the back here because I didn't change the I'm not starting in the right gear. I'm starting in second gear, not first gear. Oh, uh, no. Here we go. Backwards we go. I got block. Got a block. Save as many positions as we can. Oh, that's frustrating. That is so, so, so frustrating. Oh, my God. This is just, like, time I should not be losing just because I, I forgot to change the damn, damn gear ratio. That's it. Um, the back half of the field is separated already, which is kind of weird. Uh, that's kind of odd. Look how separated they are already. 
Now we're up to, we're fine. My fourth gear is fine. It's only first, second, and third. That's the, the, that's the problem. We're going to let Bill Elliott go because that we know that is someone that we can work with. So it's 50 laps, long race. Hopefully he pulls down here. And we still have uh, Chad Little, Matt Kenza. These are all guys we can work with. Ken Schrader is someone we can work with. So I just need to fall in behind. And we will get going. The field is already massively separated after one lap. So we're good. All right. Behind Ken Schrader, we got Rusty Wallace behind us. That's another guy that should be uh, pretty quick. We go. Here we go. And bad news, they're pulling away from me. They're pulling away. We're going to have to let Rusty Wallace go. I need I need pushing from behind. That's I, I don't just need in front. I also need behind. So that's why I'm trying to get a little bit of help from behind. Finally, it looks like we're going to get Rusty Wallace. Come on, please don't lose him. Please don't lose him. Just got a little checkup right here, maybe, because once they get help from in front from other fast guys, it's really difficult to hold on, and we got him. Okay, P13 is where we start our journey, and now we're going to go underneath Rusty Wallace. and hope Actually, no, Rusty looks pretty quick. I'm going to follow Rusty. I don't know about Ken Schrader. Doesn't look as quick as Rusty. We follow Rusty. Here we go. Now, I don't want them to run the top. That's good. Go to the bottom. That is ideal. Rusty looks really quick, actually, and here comes another quick guy, Dale Earnhardt Jr., He's going to be also very fast, almost too fast. Remember, there's a level we can't follow. I think Bill Elliott, we can. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Rusty Wallace, it doesn't look like it. Look at Rusty just pull away on his own. It does not look like that is someone that we can follow. So I'm trying to get Bill Elliott to come down the track here. He's refusing to come down the track. I'm going to probably have to let uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. go. That's just someone. Oh, I did not mean to reverse side draft from there. I'm sorry. We need to catch this group because Bill Elliott's just not running the right line. We need, we need guys that run the bottom. He's just running the top. Look at him. I mean, this is just not this is not working. So I can't let Sterling Marlin go either because I feel like Marlin's going to pull away. So we got to kind of hold Marlin back. I'm just waiting to catch this pack right here, and hopefully we can then get going. All right, we've caught them. It looks like Benson in the 10 is slowing everyone up. This is way too slow. Someone. It looks like yep, Johnny Benson, 100% of that 10 car is slowing everyone up. So we will try and get around Bill Elliott. Uh, we have Elliott Sadler, who's the one that's getting held up. I don't know how quick Sadler is really on this game, so we'll figure that out. Uh, and we got Junior and Sterling Marlin behind us. That, that This 10 car is killing us back. Oh, my. It actually looks like it's both of them because it's just like Sadler's just not going. So I think it's both of them. Yeah, Sadler's not quick. It doesn't look like it. Uh, is he the same quickness as Bill Elliott? We will see. He's running the right line. We have Junior behind, which is going to help. But he's carrying 183. Let's see. If we can get to 190 down the straights, then it's okay. Like, I'll keep Sadler in front. So let's see if we get to 190 in the straights. We slow up all the way to 185. That's not a good sign. Go 187, 188. Nope. 189. Let's give it, let's give it like, two laps here. Let's see how this works out. All right. This is a tough decision. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Like, it's it's... My thing is, if we let Junior go, I don't think I'm holding on to him. So that that's the problem, is that if we let Junior go, we don't. We have Johnny Benson behind. Junior's just going to pull away, because I don't have Bill Elliott's help. I need Elliott to get past the 10, and which is he's doing right now. Now, Sadler's definitely not up to par in terms of, like, Dale Jr. speed. What do we do here? Oh, boy. I'm going to take the risk of letting Junior go. This is just not... Sadler's too slow. I don't, I don't like it. So we're going to let Junior go, and then we're going to have to fall in behind him. So we're going to do that. We're going to move Elliot out of the way. Stay right behind. I literally can't get closer to Junior if I tried, so this is perfect. If I can't hold on to this, there, I'll never be able to hold on because we are literally right on the bumper. Now here's the true question. I say we don't have the help from behind. That's the biggest problem. We need the help from behind, but because we were so close we have a, a stronger draft. We are able to hold on. Now this, that might have been unintentionally perfect, what we just did. I didn't mean to get that close, but now, now we're flying. 190, 191, 192, and I am locked on. Here we go. Now can we stay on? He's gonna catch wall trip, and it's gonna be hard to stay on. We gotta stay on. So here he goes. He's gonna get in the draft of wall trip. He's gonna start maybe pulling away from me a little bit. Let's take a look. Yep, he's slightly pulling away, but he's going to get checked up right here. Perfect. Now he needs to go low on wall trip. I, I might be able to stay with him. I might. This is going to be difficult now because I, I, you can see I got locked off a little bit. Now he's pulling away. This was my worry. I have to stay on. I have to stay on. Got to stay on. 
Uh, I need to... Oh, see, we, now we're losing the gap. We're losing it. We're losing it. We're losing it. I'm probably not going to get this back. Nope, lost it. So it's possible, it's possible to follow the fast guys, but then once you try to get around someone, it's, it's just, it's not possible after that. Ah, Junior would have carried us to the promised land too. That's the sad part. All right, who is this? This is, is that a 66? That 66 is DW, isn't it? Is that, is that Daryl Waltrip? 66, Daryl Waltrip? Look, looks like Daryl Waltrip, I don't know. I, I think so, I'm just falling by him. He looks really quick for some reason. Follow, follow, follow. Try to, come on, come on, give me a push, give me a push, give me a push. Push me, push me, push me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, keep up, keep up, keep up. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on to him, hold on to him, hold on to him. 185, 186, nope, he's gone. What the heck, who is, is that Daryl Waltrip? It, it is, what the hell? He's old, why is he this fast? All right, we're gonna let Gordon go. I need to just slide in behind, it's maybe, maybe even hold him up, no, come on. Damn, I was trying to maybe hit him a little bit to slow him down. Come on, just grab onto somebody, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, go faster, stupid car. It's gonna be Bill Elliott again. He's the Bill, it, it, Elliott is one tier below and it's the guy I can follow. So hopefully he's running the bottom lane, he is, okay. Whew. All right, hopefully we stay with him, I beg. We don't have any help from behind, which is worrying me but we will try. Halfway on fuel on lap 15, so we're fine to make it on one stop. Ay, 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 this is stressful. Oh, thank you, Bill Elliott. I don't know why I'm able to stay with him. He's a little bit slower in the corners, and that's the biggest difference, is that if he's a little bit slower in the corners, I can hang on in the corner. That's where we lose the time, is in the middle of the corner to like guys like Gordon and Junior, so this is ideal. Uh, we're gonna try and help him around Gordon, and that's going to trap one of the really fast guys in Gordon behind me. So that's the plan. We have a lap car up here. Elliot, please, please stay low. Oh, my God. The lap car. The lap car. No, no. The lap car. Oh, boy. All right. We're going to go up here and then go back down. Try to help Elliot go through. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Just get through. Stupid lap cars, I swear to God. We're going 179 miles per hour. Oh, my God. Oh my god, get this lap car out of the way! Get out of the way! It's the Daytona 500, you prick! Are these two incompetent? Gordon and Ellie? It's been an entire freaking lap. The pack behind is caught up. Can one of you hit the throttle? Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Come on! Go! Oh my god. Oh, I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. Go! Hit the throttle! Finally, wasted two laps. Literally wasted two laps. Oh God, oh, I'm losing my mind. Oh Lord, I'm sweating. My, my forehead is literally sweating. Now if I lose Bill Elliott because of that, if I lose Bill Elliott because of that, I'm gonna lose it. Oh my God. Do not tell me I'm losing Bill Elliott. Come on, bring, come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. Come back to me, thank you. Thank you, 22. Who's in the 22? Is it Ward Burton or is it somebody else? Who's in the 22? I keep forgetting. I don't know, who's in the 22? Let's check. 22 is Ward Burton, yeah, and then we got Kenny Wallace in the 55, okay. Oh, God. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, we survived. We're, we're with Bill Elliott. We are okay, thank God. And now he's running this stupid metal line again. Oh, my, look what happens when he runs that stupid line. Oh, my God, I'm gonna lose them. I'm gonna lose them because of that. I swear to God, why is it so complicated for you just to run the bottom of the track? I don't understand. Oh, here we go, more lap cars. Alright, I'm just gonna go around. I'm not wasting time with this. Nope, I'm going around. Go around, go around. I'll try to get the lap car out of the way myself. There we go. Get out of the way. Nope, I just slowed it down for everybody. Ugh. Should I just pit? I mean, they're getting held up. No, it's not worth it. I, I need to stay out as long as I can because we need to merge onto the track. They're clearing the lap car right now, so they'll, they'll be back up here in like a lap anyways. All right, we are in a pack of five. Now, I let those guys go because I don't think I'm losing anyone here. Uh, and we're going to pit really soon anyways so we have uh 2.3 gallons of fuel right now so we will be pitting very very soon i am right behind gordon so he's going to pull me through hopefully maybe not probably not never mind but elliot should be able to hold on as well so we'll just fall in behind elliot and we're kind of just letting the pack carry on through because elliot's not going to lose them not that I, I i don't think so if he just keeps running the stupid top lane he might all right ward burton and gordon are pitting it looks like or maybe just Ward Burton. 
maybe just Ward Burton. All right, just Ward Burton is pitting, it looks like. I'm losing the draft. We should probably come down this time by. I'm going to come down this time by. Books, books, Lewis. Books, books, books. This time by, this time by. Slow it down if I can. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. 70 miles per hour. Okay. Um, what's the tires like? Uh, I probably need to take four tires, to be honest. Uh, I'm, you know what? Two tires. Two tires. I don't remember what I did first time around. I thought I took four, but eh, we'll just figure it out. Two tires only. It's, it's a little bit of a risky call, but I think we will be okay. I don't think the left side is going to hurt me that much. It's just, of course, you make a mistake in the Daytona 500, you prick. And that is going to be a... 14.4, two-tire pit stop. I barely beat Ward Burton out, who has four tires. That's fantastic. Thank you. Appreciate it. And my gear ratios are messed up, so I'm not getting up to speed. All right, thank you for the help. Appreciate it. I need a block. Oh, don't get damage. I need block again. I'm trying to get up to speed and block at the same time. This is challenging. Block. Go. Block. Go. That, that gear ratio has just absolutely destroyed me, man. Who is this? That is Steve Park. Block. Block. All right. Who in the hell can I work with? Park is too quick. Uh, the 22 of Ward Burton's too quick. I have no idea, man. I'm just going to let Ward Burton go here. Uh, we're going to let him go. Stay behind. Oh, oh, did that give me damage? It gave me a little bit. My left front is red. Uh, hopefully that lasts. If not, I'm dead. Literally going to have blown left front tire, so I guess we'll find out. I can't even hold on to Terry Labonte. What the hell is happening? Come on. Why is this car not going, bro? Oh, my God. If I can't hold on to Terry Labonte, what the hell am I supposed to do? We're P14 right now. I think green flag stops have cycled. And we've lo I took a two-tire pit stop, and I lost four spots. I hate this freaking game. I cannot hold on to anybody. Oh, my God. St freaking engine horsepower. Come on. P17 is where we finally have someone to work. Why could I not hold... Waltrip sucks. Why could I not hold on to Labonte? That's the one that pissed me off. Terry Labonte. Why could I hold on to him? <sighs> Unbelievable. Two tire stop. The field takes four. And I lose seven positions. Just garbage. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Waltrip gets the draft of Labonte, and now he's going to pull away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> so, so stupid. Oh, God. Literally running top 10 to now 17. Just end me. You know what? We're going to try something. That did not work. I wanted to bring out the caution, uh, and I couldn't even wreck the guy. <sighs> the leader is right behind us, so I might be able to come. I feel like the two tires is messing this up. Like, I don't know if I just lost speed because I didn't take left side tires. Because this car is not the same. It's just, it is so much slower. So we're kind of waiting on the leader to put more cars a lap down. And we're running out of time, though, because the leader is about to come to lap 43. We're currently 16th. So it's like a calculated risk. All these guys back here for position, though. Let's cross the line here. Let the leader cross the line. There we go. And we will see who is on the lead lap. So, we are lap 42. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Five cars behind us on the lead lap. So, 21 cars on the lead lap. And my gear ratio is crap, so I won't be able to get going on the start anyways if a caution does come out. What do we do? That is a, a true question mark. Do we risk it to gain a few positions or try to gain a few positions? Have to lose a few positions to gain a few positions? Ah, heck with it, why not? It's the Daytona 500. You can't, you gotta take risks sometimes, lads. Oh boy. I still can't bring out a caution and I've just damaged my car even more. This is not working out. Might just have, might just have to take 16th place, guys. It's not, I can't bring out a caution. Oh, that's the leader, it's Earnhardt. Earnhardt's the leader of the race. I see him right there. Oh, boy. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Block. I'm just going to block for my life. I just got blocked for my life. Even a caution comes out, it's not going to do anything for me. So what do I do? I got too much damage now, so the car is even slower. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Block. Just blocking. 
constantly. All right, come on. I just need a caution, man. Please, how do you wreck someone? I just need a yellow without going a lap down either. That's the hard part. Uh, block, hold up. Yep, there, oh, there goes Earnhardt. Earnhardt's now falling back. All right, beautiful scenes. I want to take the lead. Nope, still Earnhardt. There we go. This has turned into survival. There we go. I got it. That's not a caution? That's not a caution? <sighs> Help me. Oh, Mike Skinner's now in the lead. Well, well, we got... What do I even do? I'm so slow now. Shoo, boy. We got five laps left in this race, too. Oh, boy. All right, here comes Skinner. Block that. Uh, watch up the track. Block it again. Block it again, block it, block it, just keep blocking, just block over and over. The entire field has basically migrated into the one area of the track. Skinner is leading with Earnhardt and Earnhardt Jr., second and third, where they're stuck in this pack. We're just trying to survive for a 16th place, which is not what we wanted coming into this race. We started in seventh, finishing 16th is BS, but it's not even our fault. Pit crew mistake, two tires stop. <clears throat> Maybe the two tire stop was the wrong call, but even if I took a four tire stop, it would have been a 21 second stop. So I would have lost even more time. So it's just uh, a bunch of nonsense that happened during the green flag pit stops. It's completely screwed us. And now I can't even bring out a caution. It's too late in the race anyways. The leaders are at two to go. So we are just blocking to stay in 16th. That is all I am doing. Blocking to stay in 16th. There we go, keep doing it. I don't think Mr. Earnhardt's going to be all that happy with me. I kind of cost him the Daytona 500. Earnhardt's in second. <laughs> I've given Mike Skinner the win because of my antics. I apologize. You know, it is. Well, I'm just trying to get the best result for my team. That's all I care about. So, uh, hey, Earnhardt, I'll give you a chance, Earnhardt. For all the Earnhardt fans, your teammate has been reverse side drafted. Can you win this race? I'll leave it up to you. I'm not involved anymore. So will Dale Earnhardt win the Daytona 500? He's still in second. I don't think so. And coming to the line, I see a black car. I see a black car. I'm telling you, I think Earnhardt's in the lead. And it looks like Dale Earnhardt Sr. is going to win. Yep, that's him. Dale Earnhardt Sr. wins his second Daytona 500. Let's get confirmation. It is Earnhardt wins Mike Skinner in second. I made it right because, you know, at the end of the day, technically he was supposed to win anyways. If it wasn't for my antics. I made it right. And we're going to come home going 165 miles per hour in 16th place as we still have some guys here racing, uh, including myself. Look at the, the whole field. Guys. It's a pack race. Look at that. Except for one car. The entire field is in this pack. That's how much I've held up this entire field. So uh, let's note that for future reference that we can hold up the entire field if needed. But uh, that is quite uh, uh, disappointing. This is a disappointing 16th place finish. At the end of the day, it gets us the money we need. It gets us the average finish we need. But it's a disappointing, disappointing result. Not even a top 15. I'm not happy with it. We did the best we could. We move on. It is what it is. I think it was Earnhardt, Skinner, Gordon, Labani, and Earnhardt Jr., Terry Labani, Tony Stewart finished in that pack as guess as you guys Not can see yeah oh boy what a stressful daytona 500 guys i will see you guys tomorrow oh my god we are 16th i will take it i will take it now the real journey begins we suffer for a while we will put the r d same thing we're gonna put it into the into the horsepower uh for i think it's six races time is am i right six six races was it six races i think it was six races uh, or maybe it was nine races. I don't remember which one, but we'll, we'll decide there in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram already. Subscribe for new. And peace out.